Hello everyone, I'm Christopher from Arduino and today I'm going to show you how to use an Opta Micro PLC and a USB memory stick for data logging. In today's video we are going to use an Opta Micro PLC. Any variant will work, but in this case I'm using the Wi-Fi version. To power the Opta we'll need a 24 volt power supply. We are going to gather data from a PT100 RTD using a 0 to 10 volts converter with a measuring range of 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. For data storage, we will use a USB drive. As you can see, this one is a USB-A drive, while the Opta features a USB-C port. To bridge this difference, I'm using a USB-A to USB-C adapter. Of course, you can also use a USB-C memory stick directly. On the software side, we need the Arduino ID, which can be downloaded for free from the official Arduino website. Inside the IDE, we install the Opta support package by searching for Opta in the IDE Boards Manager. Make sure to have the latest version. First, make the RTD connection to the adapter module. Notice that we are using a 3-wire RTD as a 2-wire one. Make the adapter power connections with the Opta respective terminal blocks. And connect the adapter output to the Opta input I1. Finally, Connect the 24 volt power supply to the positive and negative terminals of the Opta terminal block. Now, before powering everything up, let's program the Opta. You can find the Arduino sketch in the video description. To program your Opta with a different sketch, just double tap the reset button to put it in DFU mode. And the USB-C port will work again for flashing the board. To upload the code, we compile it to verify that everything is okay and then click the Upload button. We can now connect the power supply and our USB drive to the Opta Type-C port. Once the drive is connected, the Opta LEDs will start blinking with an iRider animation. To start the data login, we press the User button for 3 seconds, and the LED1 should start blinking, indicating that the writing process is running. Meanwhile, we can apply some heat to the sensor using our heat gun. Or maybe check if our drink is cold enough. Once we are done with our readings, press the user button for another 3 seconds and all LEDs will blink, indicating data is stored and the login is over. We unplug the USB memory from the Opta and connect it to our PC. Here we find a folder with a TXT file with our temperature readings. And there it is! We have successfully stored data on a USB drive using Opta. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and have a great day.